Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? So, introduce yourself, please. My name is Dominique. I am the founder of um, <laughs> Lash Venom 1226, and I am the founder of that um, Lash Line. I um, founded it because I um, am interested in um, fashion and beauty. Um, so that was a reason why I started the line. Um, it's something that I'm very interested in and something that I enjoy doing a lot. So that's why I started the line. Nice meeting you guys, too. Hey. Okay, Dominique. Um, I have so many questions. Okay. <laughs> First of all, uh, how long have you been doing this? Um, well, actually, I have been actually in the lash line for about two weeks now. Um, it hasn't been that long, but I have been modeling and into the fashion business for quite some while, maybe um, i say about 10 to 12 years. Um, I have did it on and off, um, but a lot of agencies that I have gotten with wasn't really legit, legitimate agencies. So I kind of like step back from the modeling part and try to, you know, just kick something off that I can have with my name and my brand. So that's why I started it. Okay, cool. That's what's up. We're always excited to hear about black entrepreneurs. Yes. And I am excited to start this lash line also. Okay. Now, I met you a year ago, right? Right. And we were friends for... We were. A few months. And then you... We lost contact with each other. Yeah. Okay. Tell me what has changed in your life since we last spoke. Um, well, um, you know, when we met, um, I was going through a difficult time. I, me and my kids had, um, we were in a fire. Um, I am a mother of five kids. I'm a single mother. So, you know, you kind of helped me during that situation. Um, so basically what changed, I kind of like um, put my focus on something that I wanted to do for me and my kids and focus on that and, um, you know, just try to put my mind to something that I can do from for me to help them. So during that process that we split up, I just had a lot of time to think and, you know, just evaluate a lot of things to kind of like get in this position that I am now Um Basically, I just applied my mind to focusing, you know, on um, the things that I want. And I also was able to um, develop, not really develop, a, but um, join like a community where it's about black people, um, you know, giving thanks to your ancestors and stuff like that. So it's kind of like it kind of like helped me to kind of like um, settle myself, you know, find out who I am. You know, so I can have that opportunity to also think for me and my kids, too. So that's mm. why. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to press you about why. And we only, I only want to go as far as you feel comfortable going. Okay. It's fine. But, um, I mean, like I told you last night, I can't believe I'm even talking to you. Right, it's been a real rocky road, um, and I, I like I said, I appreciate everything that you have done for me because when I met you, I was kind of like in the messed up um, part of my life. I wasn't, you know, at the best part of my life. I was really going through something, um, me and my kids too, and you didn't judge us. You didn't, you know, you didn't, um, you didn't, you know, you didn't hold back on us. You you gave unconditional love to me and my kids at the time of need. And I really appreciate you for that. And I thank you for trusting me and believing in me. I know we, you know, had our little issues or whatever where we stopped. Not really issues like that, but we kind of like lost touch. You know, mm -hmm. I regret that also because you're a very good person. You know what I'm saying? You are you were able to open up your heart, not just to me, but to my kids too. And I, like I said, I am thankful and I really appreciate that. Well, I'm glad to have met you. Same I don't here. regret the thing. Same here. 
Well, any questions in the chat so far? While we wait for that, you want to talk about uh, coming from New Orleans? Um, well, I've been in Georgia since I was about 17. Um, basically after Katrina. I am a Katrina survivor, you guys. So, yeah. Um, I've been here um, about 13, 14 years. I really enjoy, enjoy being here. I always go back and forth home all the time because, you know, home is home. Um, so, you know, but, you know, I like Georgia. Georgia is my new home. So, yeah, I'm from New Orleans. I rap the city hard, but I love Atlanta, too. So, you know, I love my Atlanta people, and I love my New Orleans people. Okay. That's what's up. A lot of New Orleans people seem to have a special type of hometown pride. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We are We are very, like, homebody people. We are um, we people that believe in, you know, um, Southern hospitality. Um, we believe in, you know, just having that down-to-earth um, home, you know, just – but, um, having that feel for people like you know we um we kind of like open hearted you know down to earth we love to speak to people talk to people you know it's just something that's in us and that's just you know new honest people it's just in us and you have a very unique culture we do and you can't find it anywhere else in the world but there I mean that's just a unique place to be hopefully it will always be there but you know it is yeah. what it is. And how do you go through the process of getting the right vendors? Okay, so what I did was I went through maybe 100 vendors before I found my vendor that I wanted to deal with. Um, it's a lot of people that sell you vendors' lists, you know, to try to get you to buy the vendors' lists. But I, did, I never went through anyone. Um, I did all my own footwork. I did my, all my own designs. Everything that's done with Lash Venom, I have did it myself. Um meaning the money, the footwork, you know, the promoting, everything I did myself. So basically what I did was I kind of started off, you know, looking for vendors that I can um, contact. Um, and I hashtag Lash Mink Eyelash Vendors on YouTube, I mean, Instagram. So once you hashtag that, all of the Lash Vendors are going to come up. Once you do that, you inbox them on um, Instagram, and then they will allow you to have their WhatsApp information. And then you could go through the vendors as you want to, you know, go through to try to find the particular lash or the particular style that you want or the particular vendor that you want to get the lashes that you want at the price that you want and still be able to profit from it. Okay. That's what's up. Um, I was going to type it. Hey, um, Black YouTube Unlock. She's also from New Orleans. She reps the city hard as well. Um, that's BYU Living. And she wants to know what's going on here. We, um, to recap, this is Dominique. Hey. We're, we're old friends, and we just reconnected last night, and I found out that she started her own lash business. So I'm having her update us and put us on game at the same time. How do you know what lashes to pick? Okay, this is how you know what lashes to pick. When you go on to WhatsApp, the particular vendor or whatever vendor that you select or choose, they're going to send you a catalog, like a digital catalog, to your WhatsApp. You're going to go through those catalogs, and you're going to see the ones that you like. You th then you're going to contact them back and let them know, okay, well, I like these lashes, or, you know, can is it available for you to send me a sample? Most vendors will send you samples of the lashes because they want your, you know, they want you to purchase from them. You will have to pay shipping for those, you know, those samples, but you don't have to pay for the lashes. And that way you can simple out, you know, simplify the lashes that you want, simplify the lashes that you don't want to feel, you know, stuff like that. So that's how I did it. I basically went through um, maybe 100 vendors, um, selected the vendor that I wanted. She also offered me um, logo service. I came up with my own logo, but I also sent it to her so she can put it on to my lash boxes, my lash packaging. So, and I also, they also give you the opportunity to pick your own packaging too. That's what's up. Thank you. 
okay, so trend. How do I how do I stay ahead of the trend? Okay, I stayed ahead of the trend because I'm always looking for new stuff. Like I'm always online. I'm always on YouTube. I'm always on Instagram. I'm always on, you know, different social media platforms trying to figure out what's the trend. And then, like I said, I am a fashion person. Like I'm into that. So I'm going to always know the trend because I'm always up on you know, what's new, because I'm always, you know, looking for new ideas. I'm looking for new trends, you know. That's how I stay on top of game. What's the meaning behind the name? Okay, the meaning behind the name is Lash Venom. Okay, it's just like someone that, uh, that that's, that's um, how can I say it? Someone that's heart-driven, you know. You know, when Venom hits your heart, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm I'm... I'm in it to win it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm for it. Like I'm, I'm the lash guard. I'm on it. Like whatever you need for concerning concern lashes, or if you need me to pull up, if you need me at 12 a.m., if you need me whatever time of the day, I'm there. And that's just all, you know, what the name means. How can you sell falsy lashes from quality lashes? Okay, like I said earlier. When you are purchasing lashes from a particular vendor or several vendors, you are able to receive a digital catalog. When you re receive this digital catalog, yes, you can. When you receive these, when you receive these catalogs, you can go through the ones that you like. The ones that you like, you can send those to the vendor. The vendor will then go through them and let you know. Okay, well, I can send you a sample of these lashes or certain, you know, lashes, whatever ones that you like, they um they will send them to you as a sample, but you will have to pay shipping. And you just basically go through those vendor samples to pick the, you know, the style that you want or the texture or the feel that you want. That's how I did it. You can get custom lashes from my line. You can. Yes, you can. Yeah, do you see any yes. more questions? No, I don't see any more. Okay, I'll give you some. Um, would you like to discuss some of your former occupations and why you chose not to stay with those? Um, recently, I have been in a lot of industries. My most um, recent one was Sephora where I learned um, a lot about skincare. I knew the makeup part, but I didn't really know about the skincare part. So me working at Sephora, it really helped me to know that you can't just put makeup on your face. You have to treat your face. You have to, you know, you have to moisturize. You have to cleanse. You have to do those things in order for your makeup to pop or for it to look professionally done or, you know, for it to be right. So my recent experience with working at Sephora, it was really good, a really good experience. And it helped me, it helped me a lot to, you know, learn a lot about the fashion industry too, because it's not just about putting the makeup on. You also have to, you know, treat your skin too. So I did that and I was a housekeeper for a while. Um, I enjoy that because I get to talk to people on a, a daily basis. I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy meeting new people. So me being in that industry as well was fun. Um, I also did customer service. I also did office administration, which I own a diploma in, but never had a real um, job in. Um, I enjoy, like I said, I enjoy um, talking to people. I enjoy, you know, anything technical. I enjoy the computers phones and stuff like that so it was a real good experience for me to also learn that too but this is something that I enjoy from my heart and I think that you know me starting my own business with doing the lashes it'll you know help me progress and it's, it's something that I enjoy so I'm gonna put my heart into it and just give it my all I'm not surprised to see you do this because I know that you're a very uh, creative type and I talked a lot um, with you about catering, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you love to cook. Mm-hmm. I still like to cook. Well, I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
How long before you turn a profit? I'm sorry, Ashley, my bad. Uh, I was just saying, you know, you have to fix me a plate soon. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> How long before you turn a profit? Okay, so like I said, and I stated earlier before some of you guys probably have gotten here, but I have been doing this about two weeks. So really everything that's happening is basically my own footwork. It's, you know, it's something that I'm doing myself. So I'm not really seeing a profit, but this is like my, you know what I'm saying? My, let's see what's, where it goes from here, run. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to, you know, continue doing it. But this is kind of like a test run, that's all. Do we hear you? Do you have a, a, a business plan? I basically don't have a business plan, but I'm working on one. Okay, is somebody helping you with that? No one's helping me with that. Everything that's done with Lash Venom is done by me. Okay. What do you think sets you off from all the other Lash businesses? What would make people want to skip all the others to come to you? Okay, first of all, I think that I will stand out from everybody else because um, my lashes have quality. Not only quality, but when you get a pair of lashes from me, you're going to feel like you're buying them from your home girl. You know, I'm going to make you feel like, you know, you're at home, someone that you can have a conversation with, someone that you can just, you know, let your hair down with. So I'm going to be set apart from everybody else. And not on top of that, I also, you know, I'm also able to bring the lashes to you. I'm also able to apply them for you and I can do your makeup too. So I'm anywhere you're at, wherever you're at, if you call me, Lash Venom is there. That's what's up. And that makes the difference a lot, just being personable, giving mm -hmm. good customer service. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, it's a, something that a lot of black businesses lack. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I agree because I will feel like, like I said, I have came over a new coming to where I feel like you know, black is beautiful, so I'm with it. But it's like a, a couple places that I have been to that's black owned, they're very unprofessional. And it makes you not want to shop with them. It makes you want to be like, well, I'm not shopping with them no more. I'm going to go over here to the white people. Or, you know, not yeah. to say it like that or sound racist or anything, but, you know, it's just I feel true. you. It's, it's just like you try. Right. You try to support your own people. Right. And they make it so hard sometimes. Right, right. So it's like, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we can't be like any other culture or any other um, race because we're not connected like they are. They are people in other races you see where they stick together. Like, you know, a lot of other companies or a lot of other races, they don't hire outside of their race. You mm -hmm. know, they, they hire in within a race and, you know, they collaborate. They, you know, they make money. Instead of everybody trying to get together and make money together, everybody is against each other. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like that because there's a lot of money out here for everybody and everybody has their own lane. You know, so even if you sell lashes and I sell lashes, you might not have the quality lashes that I have or the customer service that I have to make a person be like, well, I'm not shopping with that person. I'm going to shop with this person just because of this customer service is good. Hmm. So I'm going to let you answer some of these questions. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Also, have you thought about doing a subscription package? That would be nice. I never thought about that, but that would be good. And I will keep that in mind when I do do my upcoming lash pages. Well, in addition to my lashes, I will keep that in mind. And that would be very smart because you can also get you know, a subscription of lashes, maybe two or three different kind of lashes per month for once that price. That would be great. So that's a good idea. Thank you. That's a very good idea. Yes. Can you show us the different type of lashes you have? Sure, I can. Can you give me a second? I don't have them. Um, I only have some of them on hand. Let's see. You have all seven of them now? So what numbers you have? Okay. I have seven different lashes, but I don't have all of them on hand right now. 
only because I've been selling them and I have to restock, but I can't show you guys the ones that I have. I have these. And they also come with numbers on them. But I gave them my own names. Like I wanted to, you know, give them names like um, Girls Trip, Date Night, stuff like that. You know, just to kind of have a feel for, you know, different kind of women that, you know, want to lash for a different, you know, different occasion. Somebody said uh, you're basically a on the go lash technician and a makeup artist. Basically, I am. Yep. Okay. So, what areas do you serve? I serve any area that I can travel to within uh, uh, 50 miles, anywhere that I can, you know, get to you easily, and it's not too much of traffic or anything like that. But I am available all the time. You're based in South Atlanta. South Atlanta, that's just where I'm based at. Yep. Okay. And I have these. These will be my date nights. Hold them up some, Dami. There you go. These will be date nights. And as you, as you guys can see, the packaging also came with the lashes. They packaged them for me, too. And the cool. feel is really soft. You know, they're really soft. And you can wear them now, multiple. You can hold them multiple times. You can wear them multiple times. As long as you, you know, taking care of them. These I right love here. the first thing about lashes. Can you I tell love. us about the, the um, materials? Um, The material is um basically like, um, I guess I would say human hair. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're like real hair that's on your lashes, basically. Mm. And um, these are my favorite. I call these promiscuous girl, only because they're like more flare and curly. You know, something okay. that you can wear. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, that's good. Let's see. Is it a delivery fee? It's only a delivery fee if you don't let me apply your lashes. So if you mm. purchase the lashes and let me apply them for you, it's no, it's no delivery fee. But if you only purchase the lashes and I don't apply them, then yes, it's a delivery fee. How can we order from you online? You can order, you can order from me online through Shopify, PayPal, and then y'all can do like um, I I accept credit cards too. So if you wanted to for me to um, develop a invoice for someone or you know just hit me up and I'll send you the invoice. You have a website? I do have a website, but it doesn't currently have any um, product on it currently right now. Like I said, I okay. have Shopify where I did the website through Shopify. So you can also go on Shopify and find me too. The products are on Shopify? They are. Okay. All right. We're going to make sure we get your link. Can you tell us your price for the different services? Okay. For the lash, for two, to purchase one of these lashes is $10. I Sometimes I do specials where I do where you can purchase two. If you buy two or more, you get them for five. Delivery charges, like I said, you get no delivery charge if you purchase one of these. And let me apply them. If you purchase one of these and you let me apply them, it's fifteen dollars. So it's actually a five dollar application fee. But it's no delivery fee if you allow me to apply them for you. Promiscuous girl is pretty. Thank you so much. I do. Listen, I never, like I told, like I said again, y'all, I have never done this before. So everything is being done is done through me. The ideas you guys are coming up with today. Uh-oh. Buffering.
Tommy. Is she buffering to y'all? My channel name is DJ Ash D, and that's my channel URL also. She's back. And it's also in my bio. The link to my YouTube channel should be in, in my bio. Bye. Sorry, my phone died. Oh. Still, girl, you have another that <laughs> issue. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 you. It's definitely you. Yes, you know my phone. How long have you known me? Almost a year now, right? Yes. How long have my phone been dead on you? Ever since I know you. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My phone died. Did I miss any questions? Um, hey, little shade, all love. Um, you were right in the middle of spitting that knowledge. I, what were you talking about? What was she saying, y'all? But we, you do have some questions. Somebody wanted to know how long he keep the lashes on. Okay, so if you're not having any rough sex where your boyfriend is putting his elbow in your eye. <laughs> your lashes will stay on a minimum of I would suggest up two days. Depending on the application or what type of lube that you use. I wouldn't suggest keeping on eyelashes more than two days because you have to clean your eyes. I don't want to not be able to not clean my eyes because it's a lot of stuff that's always in your eyes. Dust, um, mucus, especially when you sleep you know it's a lot of stuff that can actually get in your eyes and a lot of women want to know why they're having you know issues with their eyes or infections with their lashes and it's because you you can't have something that's artificial that's on your eyes that long think about it like why would you want to wear lashes two weeks in a row like you can't even clean your eyelashes you can't clean them so i wouldn't suggest that someone would wear my lashes that long because only because i would like you to get the best wearing out them and i would like them to still look you know nice and be hygienic and hygienic right and okay. if you guys follow my page at underscore la well at lash venom underscore one two two six you will see that i put lash tips on my um, page also tips to wear you know to show you how to cleanse your lashes how to treat your own natural lashes you know the proper wear sign for your lashes so all those things will be on my page I'm not just a lash provider I also um, you know give tips for your lashes um, I give sales for my customers you know sometimes even though I haven't been doing it for a long time you know just the customer appreciation will help someone you know Come back to you also. Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't, and I should have one. Yeah, because you can make video tutorials and on YouTube. And to with you, I do do them on my live sometimes because, um, not to be talking about anyone else, but my sister, she actually has her own makeup line. And I use some of her products as well when I'm doing different looks. Um, I have been doing several different looks the past couple of days just, just to show people, you know, the different looks that you can get with my lashes, the different feels that you can get, you know, um, you know, just how different it makes you look and feel when you do wear lashes, you know, how much it brings out your beauty. People be like, you don't need that. You don't need that. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it, but it also helps me feel better about myself. It helps me, you know, enhance my beauty. It doesn't mean that I need it. You know, it's just something that I use to enhance my own natural beauty. Okay. Um, something that's new about me since we last talked, I have been doing the YouTube thing. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I um actually went on to your channel before um coming on live to actually um check it out, you know, just to kind of be a little nosy, um, to see what you have been doing. And I see that you have been doing a lot of um interviews with different people, which is good. You um always have been a person that um 
likes to know everyone else's insight on stuff. So that's a good, that's very good about you. And um, it's an interesting channel. I think I'm going to actually subscribe because I like to know a lot of stuff too. Um, I also know from talking to you and also being your friend that you are a person for black people. Um, you like for black people to have insight, um, to know about what's going on, what their resources are. Um, I actually had the opportunity to work with you maybe a week. <laughs> on some information that I was um no your phone better not die again hang tight y'all Thank you, Hot Queen. Um, my graphic artist is uh, on here on Instagram by the name of Dope Illustrator. If you go to my tagged photos, you can find them on the the cartoon art. Yeah, we lost her again. Let's give her another chance. I don't know if she has another power source or another device that she can go on. That would be even better. I might actually reschedule when she's able to um, charge her phone. Okay, thank you, TC. My plug when that plug wasn't working. All right, we got you back. I'm sorry, y'all. It's okay. Um, we understand. Do you want to? You want to um, pick this up at another time? We fine. I'm in, I'm in a better charger now, so we fine. If you want to continue. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. It's not Ashley's fault. It's mine. Um. <laughs> you my phone dead. Let's see. Somebody wants you to talk about magnetic lashes. Magnetic lashes. I have no experience with magnetic lashes. I have no, I have no, no under, no. Mm -mm. I don't know anything about magnetic, 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 magnetic. Okay. Um, somebody asked about contacts. Like, does it interfere with people who wear contacts? Nope. It does not interfere with anything that has to do with inside your eyes. These are actually applied to your eyelids. So they should okay. not. I'm sorry. All right. Um, I think that's all the questions. And I keep forgetting where you're at when you did. But um, one person who had to leave because they have an early morning said that uh, you were you're great and you're very humble. Thank you. And we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. I am. Would, thank you. Um, would you mind me putting this the the best parts on my YouTube channel? Sure, it's no problem. Okay. Um, it would be great to have a, you know, you set up to point to your YouTube channel. Or is that something you're really, really considering doing? Yes, I can do that. Okay. So let me know 
when you create your YouTube channel. You can do just a quick little intro video so I can just drop a link and people can subscribe when they see my video. Okay. But, um, you know, I'm all about support and I want to see you be great. I know. So, um, hmm. Anything else you would just want to talk about? Um, I, I, one of the main reasons that I wanted to do this on a public platform is to inspire other people because um, you covered some of it, but you've come a long way. Ashley, you know I came a long way. Yes. You know what I've been through. Like, you know you were there. So you know firsthand. And that's probably what makes you so anxious and like, oh my God, is this really you? You know, like, is this really yeah. you? You know? <laughs> so I understand. And like I say, I really appreciate it. You have been someone that was there for me when I didn't have anything. I lost everything in the fire, y'all. I did not know Ashley. She came from heavy scent. I have no clue. Me and my kids had no clothes. We had no food. We had nothing. We had nothing at the time. And she helped us. She helped us a lot. She opened up her heart to me and my kids. Like I said, I am a mother of five kids. And she helped me with every last one of them. I didn't have a phone. She brought me a phone. You know, she just comforted us. She made sure we were, you know, we were okay. We did not know her. We didn't know her. We, I put up a post explaining, you know, me and my kids, we went through a fire. And do you know, I actually met her through someone else that didn't believe me, but she did. She was like, oh, no. No, it's, it, it's got to be true. This girl's like, a scammer. Yes, she was like, "That you're a scammer. I'm like, no, Ashley, I really went through all this. But the thing about it is what, 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 what have me really, you know, appreciative and happy you know because she opened up her heart and she was like okay well if she a scammer then she wouldn't be you know you know i was contacting her like hey ashley how you doing uh, you know stuff like that so we we had a pretty close relationship we were you know what i'm saying we were we were close and you like i said you opened up your heart to me and my kids um i have a son he's three years old his name is little jermaine she loves him to that she loved Jermaine to that, and I have four boys and one girl. She did not gravitate to the girl at all. She was <laughs> like, no, I'm going to go with him. You know, <laughs> she brought my shoes. She brought him clothes. She take it. You know, she'll take me and my kids out. You know, she she brought us Airbnb airs. You know what I'm saying? She really opened up her heart to me and my kids. So, Ashley is a really, really down to earth person. Someone that you can have as your friend forever. Someone that I will enjoy having as my friend forever. And I, like I said, appreciate everything that you did for me and my kids. Well, thank you. I, I, I wasn't fishing for that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> and um, I unofficially adopted Jermaine. Yes, you did. <laughs> if, if we're gonna speak on it. <laughs> You were like, you want him? I'm, I'm like, yeah. yeah, I want a son. And then the next time I seen her, she had so much of clothes. For, she had so much of Black Panther stuff. She had Black Panther drawers, Black <laughs> Panther coloring books, Black Panther. She had brought him shoes. She brought him clothes, all kind of clothes, all kind of shoes. She, yeah, she, she adopted him without me knowing. <laughs> you said... You, that's gonna be your son, so I'm like, okay, what's his size? Uh -huh. I don't know what you thought I was gonna do when I asked yeah. what his size was. <laughs> I I wasn't playing with you. I know, I know. But I mean, I really wanted to. Um, like I said, I appreciate that, and um, you didn't have to, you know, tell all that. In fact, I don't want nobody else to expect that. I mean, you know, everybody has their own testimonies. You know, everybody goes through stuff. But the real yeah. testimony is, you know, living through it and be able to come out on top. Yeah. And 
I did that um, because I saw something in you. And I still do. Thank you. I, I feel like you will be somebody that we'll be talking about, we're going to be reading about. Remember the name, Lash Venom. Remember the name. I am promoting, promoting, promoting. And like I said, everything that's done with Lash Venom is done through me. So all the profit, I'm going to get it. You know, I'm just in it to win it for my kids. And that's just my focus right now. My focus is just basically, you know, having something that my kids can be like, oh, my mama made that, you know. Or, you know, a black community or, you know, a little girl or anything. Well, you know, she came from this. And I came from the project, so, you know, it's no telling where this will take me. And I'm I'm just looking forward to, you know, the new beginnings. Awesome. Um, I don't have any more questions. Is anybody else? I know it's only two people in here, but does anybody else have any more questions? I know people. That's fine. This is just a start. We'll be all right. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, like I said, it's just a start. We're going to keep in touch. Yeah, like I said, my business just ticked off two weeks. I've, I've been officially doing it for like a week now. So we at the beginning. So y'all look, look forward to me coming back on Ashley's page and giving you guys an update on my lash line and where I am and, you know, just basically updating you guys well wishing you the best and um i'm gonna do everything i can to support you and promote you thank you all right so let's hop off here and um thank you again thank you too and good night peace and love <laughs>